All right, thank you, Fred. Well, if a tree falls on your home, it's pretty clear you need roof repairs, but sometimes the damage after a storm is not so obvious. We're on your side with some things that you need to look for when it comes to the health of your roof after a storm like we just saw. Joining us today with more, Sunny Googe and Michael Groover from One Call. Thanks for being with us today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having us. So obviously, as we mentioned, if someone has a tree on their home, it's pretty obvious that they have roof damage. But what about people maybe in the Homewood area who didn't have a tree on their home, but may still have some damage. How do they know? What do they need to do? Absolutely. So yes, it's, it's pretty obvious. You know, if you have a lot of missing shingles or if there's a tree that's impaled your home, obviously it's time to reach out to someone. But there's a lot of people who are wondering, you know, hey, that was a lot of wind. That was a lot of stuff blowing around. You know, do it. Should I have somebody look at it? You know, and I would always say absolutely. You know, there's a uh, many qualified great roofing companies out there like us that offer a free roof inspection after a storm event. Mm -hmm. um, it's always good to notify those damages because there's things that were flying through the air, such as tree limbs, debris, other things that it may not be obvious that could have impacted the roof or also you know the shingles tend to lift increase over time and if even if they don't come all the way off they're still damaged enough that they need to be addressed so is there sort of a checklist or is there something that y'all look for when you're doing your inspection yes ma'am so we actually look at all the uh, different you know maintenance issues as well as storm related damages you know things like you know are your pipe boots in good condition you know do you have impacts to the shingles are there is there a a granular loss rate that's higher than you know necessarily needs to be there um, and there's different ways different companies use different things we believe that the best way to of course inspect it is to get up on it put hands on it feel it see what the quality and the integrity of the shingles are mm -hmm. and be able to you know make a good you know way to move forward with repairs and this may be a silly question i don't know can you replace just part of the roof or does it all do you have to replace the entire thing so you don't have to necessarily replace the entire thing just necessarily depends on what kind of damage you have and and how widespread it is. Okay, so I know a lot of people are, pro or, you know, a lot of companies are out there with the damage, yes, a lot of people helping out. How do you know that someone's not trying to scam you? What can you look for? So the best way, of course, is to, you know, really do some research. You know, um, of course, your gut feeling is gonna tell you the first thing, but ultimately what you wanna look for is you wanna research them online, you wanna see what their Google reviews say, do they have a Facebook presence, do you have friends, relatives, neighbors who have used them, you know, recently, you know, are there ways that you can actually go online to the State Department websites, research their licenses, make sure they're current? And anybody who has questions about any of that, I would absolutely recommend do some research because they, if they're a credible company, they're going to have certain things that are going to show that they, they know what they're doing. Absolutely. We typically recommend people to the Better Business Bureau website, yes, that type of thing to, to get information to make sure a company is legitimate. Well, we appreciate y'all being with us today. Thank and you. where's a website or a phone number that people can call or go to to get more information about y'all? So we actually have, you know, of course, onecallalabama.com, onecallroofing.com. Um, you know, in today's day and age of Google, you got to have both. Yeah. Um, but, uh, and then if you need to reach out to us, you know, we have our office line is 205-370-9450. Or you can reach one of us directly. I'm 205-910-7492. I'm 205-540-7338. And we have people standing by. We can help at a moment's notice. All right. We appreciate y'all being with us today. Thank you Thanks so much. much.